Hey class, I'm going to do uh, as one of the parts that you guys have been working on. Um, a little more complicated part, of course. Um, looks like that. It's called the fixture block. Um, so the dimensions are given, and I'm going to go ahead and try to model this as quickly as I can um, while still giving details. So I'm going to create a new part um, on the home screen. One of the things that you may not have noticed is the fact that it says all dimensions are in millimeters. It's right in the center of the page. So when I go to open up a new um, a new part itself, and obviously I know it takes a little while to load sometimes. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and already start with my part um, in millimeters. So let's go ahead and say you opened up a new part, um, but you didn't actually select the millimeter option, which I'll show you guys, um, you know, in class. But what could I do? So I can go to um, tools. I can go to this specific document setting, not the application, but the document setting. And I can say I want my units in millimeters. OK, great. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I'm going to start my part. All right, so the way I would approach this, um, so some of you, uh, when I looked at your drawings, I noticed that you guys um, kind of try to do everything at once. Essentially, you try to draw this sketch and then extrude it. Um, you can't do that because there's different contours, different levels. I mean, is it possible? Sure. I, I mean, I could probably do it. There's you know a million ways to do it. But you don't really want to start with the whole sketch. You want to look at a part, and you want to imagine what would this have started like. Um, I could do most of this sketch even, but you got to start imagining what would this look like if it was one big block, and what would I have to cut out. So I'll, again, I'll try to do it in as few parts as possible, but you do have to have multiple sketches. You have to have multiple extrusions. So I'm going to show you that now. All right, so um, I'll take your guys' approach. I'll try to draw most of it at once. Um, maybe I normally wouldn't do that. But if I look at the dimensions, I can tell that there's a rectangle that is, uh, let's see, 60 by 30. So I'm going to go ahead and type 30 by 60. And I'm just hitting the tab button um, in order to draw my rectangle. And then from there, there's a, I'm going to wait to lock into the center point. It's right there. There's a circle that is 30 millimeters. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom half. Um, oh, yeah. That makes sense why I can't do that. Fail to trim. Try removing some constraint on the curve. Ah, I see. OK. So I'm going to try to delete some constraints on it. And then I'm going to try to trim it. I'm doing this without having done it before, so probably should have done it before. Um, there's another one that's 15 in there. Great. Uh, I'm trying to think if I even need this line. I don't think I do, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that. And I have the basics of the shape, right? Um, if I'm looking at this from the top view, I basically have the rounded edge and then the rectangle. I see some chamfer there, so why don't I take care of that now? Um, I'll do a chamfer, um, what was it, nine, I think? Yeah, nine, nine. So I'll do it on that corner and that corner. And there's my shape. I can go ahead and finish the sketch and go ahead and extrude that up. I think it goes up 30. Yes, it does. There's the part. OK, so now I have a part that sort of looks like what it's going to look like, but not quite. So one of the things I want to do is actually want to cut out a portion of this face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle, and I'm going to cut out the side. So that side would be 21 by, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in this corner, and I'm going to draw a rectangle, and I know it's 21 tall by doing some math. I also know it's, let's see, 60 minus 18. So I guess 42 uh, wide. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish sketch. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. I'm going to cut it in the opposite direction. And there we go. So I have that part so far. So um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and rotate that so it's a view that I like. There we go. I only have one more part left, which is that little 
center part. Um, so what I'm going to do really quickly, and I'm going to try to do this fast since I already feel like I've taken too long. I'm going to create a mid plane. Mid plane between two planes. I'm going to choose that plane and that plane. That creates a center plane between the two. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch on that specific sketch itself. I'm going to draw a triangle that goes from this corner to that corner to that corner and back to that. Um, yep, that's exactly what it looks like. I finished the sketch. I extrude. I don't want to extrude to one side. I don't want to go that way. I want to go right down the center and I want it to be seven wide. There we go. It's seven wide and wham bam, the part is done. I can go ahead and hide my work plane. Visibility off and there we go. There's my part. Looks good. Last thing I'm going to ask you to do is um, I'm going to ask you to check the um, volume of the part to see that we're correct. I'm going to go to eye properties. Um, this box will pop up. I go to physical. I update it. And then my volume is 35199.482. I would want you to double check that value and make sure you're correct. If you didn't originally start as millimeters, then it would say 35199.482 inches to the cubed. But because the part said millimeters, you do not want to go ahead and make something in inches when the when the fun company wants you to make it in millimeters. So be mindful of units. All right, so double check your units to make sure that's right. Make sure it matches up with me. And then we're good. All right, awesome. Thanks, everybody.